Okay, guys, this is my, uh, fourth, I mean, not fourth, um, fifth generation iPod Classic. This is, a. Uh, I bought this off of eBay for about, um, $47, and it arrived today. It said that it was going to arrive on Monday, March 11th, and it came Thursday, March 7th, which is today. So, I just want to get into a quick, quick review here. And, um, yeah, I'll upload this onto YouTube on my Real Running With Aaron page. Ch channel. <laughs> so, on my, uh, other YouTube channel, I did a review on this. I mean, no, and I didn't do a review on this iPod, but I did a review on the fourth generation iPod. Which is the same color as this one. Yeah, so, yeah, which is the same color as this one. It is white, as you can see. I, just, I didn't get it in black because it was cheaper. <laughs> I happened to came across an iPod when I first ordered this. It was black, and it was pretty good. But I like it in white, so. I like it in black, but I had to choose white. Because it was cheap. So, as we know here, the iPod Classic, um has a 30 gigabyte Toshiba hard drive and this hard drive actually is a spinning disk is I can amplify it it makes a little noise <laughs> yeah I don't know where the mic is on this camera but um I can uh you can, I don't know where the mic is but you can probably hear the sound of the spinning disk if I can find the mic <laughs> I think it's like right here, like in the lens, like, yep it is, so yeah, I got this today, and yeah, you can hear the little spinning discs in the iPod, and um, this iPod, it's the most classic of all. People have been asking me, Aaron, where have you get these iPod Classics from? Apple doesn't make them anymore. I get them on eBay. Oh, Aaron, where do you get the parts from? I get them on eBay. Pretty much everything I get on eBay, except if it's bad. Then I would have to research and go on Amazon. So this iPod has a lot of songs on it. I installed it. And the, when I plugged it in, it said Adam's iPod. And I guess the guy's name that had it was Adam. So... Adam, from, that owns this iPod, if you're watching this video, I think you have major sleep problems. <laughs> but I installed new music onto this. Yeah, before there was, um, like, sleeping songs and scratching noises, and I just couldn't take it anymore. So I plugged it in the computer, restored the iPod, and have put new songs on it. I shouldn't have restored it. I should have saw the pictures. I hope it wasn't from Pornhub. What the? I hope it wasn't from that. No. Oh my god, that would have been scary. What if it was? I would have had as myself a devil, uh, like a, an iPod from hell. So luckily I restored it. So yeah, this thing has a Toshiba hard drive, like I was saying. 30 gigabytes, it matters on the iPod. The bigger the generation, the bigger the the bigger the gigabytes get. So yeah, I won't be installing Rockbox onto this for like maybe I'll install Rockbox onto this in like one and a half or two years maybe. I'll just see how the original software is. It's pretty cool. So yeah, it's pretty cool. I mean, yes, yeah, an iPod Classic. So what would you expect? So, it is way better than my other iPod. I just put on a back cover to it, a new one. And I had this cable for the hard drive and connecting it for the switches and everything broke. The, the wire rotted. So, this is my old iPod and then I put a new back onto it. And it broke off. So, I have to put this back onto it again. Which sucks. So yeah, that is my iPod Classic review, and um, as you can see here, I'm going to do the song on here. 
no copyright. This is my YouTube channel, obviously. I have uh, something on here. There it is. Sunshine State Master 2008. Railroady with Aaron, as you can see. The disc spins. This is my uh, Master 2008 Sunshine State album. I have made this one time ago that, um, like, really long ago that 2016 we had this one solar eclipse and it was sunny outside and I was complaining that we didn't get to see a solar eclipse in the library. It was so mean to us that she didn't even hand out solar eclipse glasses to us. And I'm um, probably know why, because she's probably a smart and, and knew that with the solar eclipse wasn't going to happen. So yeah, that is my iPod Classic review. I'm going to take very good care of this thing and not have to end up like this freaking piece of shit here. Look at this. It's all scratched up. It's taken apart. It's all... Click wheels out of place. It way better. I can get my warm hands on this. Most people keep these iPods for a collector's item, which I think I'll do with my next one I want to get. So bye, guys. One more thing. I'll press the menu and the circle button, and then it will reset, and then you can hear the uh, hard disk. You, can, you can't see anything, but you can hear the hard disk. <laughs> okay, it stopped. Bye, guys. And always remember to, if you have an iPod Classic laying with dust, is laying correct, collecting dust. Always remember to revive it by using Rockbox and fixing it up till you're out of money. This has been Railroading with Aaron. Wait, no, not Railroading with Aaron. Railroad Exploring with Aaron. I can't believe I messed up my channel a lot. And I'll see you guys, well, next time. Bye. <laughs>